And then this might shock and amaze you, but I will destroy Joe Frazier. Messi is better than Ronaldo. You go to your doctor's office tomorrow. You say something's wrong with me. Kings of football. Messi was picture perfect. Those who ever doubted him are dumb. You say something's wrong with me. If Ronda Rousey fought Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> she would ragdoll him. If you talk about something for long enough, sooner or later, history history is going to humble you. Now, it doesn't matter your IQ level, nor how deep and broad your experience. Truth is, no one ever beats the game. Facts. Conor McGregor will not land a single punch against Floyd Mayweather. Mm. Tom Brady is going to be a bum in short order. He is going to fall off a cliff. Tom Brady, Super Bowl champion, for the seventh time. So if even the experts get it wrong all the time, how do you think armchair quarterbacks will fare? My driver of the year, I'm going Daniel Ricciardo. So if we're talking hot takes in F1, in recent memory, F1's been on a bit of a tear, hasn't it? People just can't stop getting it wrong. And quite frankly, I'm not sure if they get much worse than this one. Why would I ever feel that way? My team don't make mistakes. I mean, you couldn't make it up, could you? Ever since that quotable, Mercedes have done nothing but make mistakes. From the side pods to the bouncing, to the pit stops, to the personnel, it's been a comedy of errors at Mercedes. But you know what's even more puzzling than the message? The messenger, because no one will be more familiar with Mercedes errors than the seven time champion. I mean, he's been on the bad end of a few of them. Think Monaco 21. Now pits uh, for Mercedes. Yeah, they look. can't get the right front off. This is not the first time this season. Think Turkey 21. Box, 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 box. Why? Uh, new insert is the way to go. I don't think it is, man. Think Hungary 21. It's going to be lights out and away we go for Lewis Hamilton only. I mean, it's just insane, man. Moreover, these are mistakes of consequence. And maybe this is it. Maybe Lewis has to compartmentalise these errors just to be able to get himself ready for the next race weekend. Because let's not kid ourselves, you can die in an F1 car. And so placing your hands in the life of a team who of late has been a prolific mistake maker. Well, if you ask me, that's no mean feat. My team don't make mistakes. About my team don't make mistakes. Au contraire, Sir Lewis. So what was he even thinking when he said this? You know, I think he had his leadership cap on here. He was trying to speak something into reality, trying to motivate the troops. But if we're talking about telling a cheeky white lie in the name of leadership, then I think we need to cut Lewis some slack because he's not the first, nor will he be the last. Ain't that right, Mr. Braun? And, but this has teeth. If you fraudulently breach the financial regulations, you will be losing your championship. The penalty clearly doesn't, doesn't fit the, the breach. Oof, doesn't get any techier than this. But enough with the FI slander, because as much as we like to dug in them, in recent years, they've done some pretty good things. How about them halos? You know, the same halos that have been out here saving lives. Think Grosjean, think Leclerc, think Hamilton, think Show. Oh, not a bad thing, that Halo then. It's safe to say then that no one in their right mind would have tried to stop the Halo's implementation, surely. I think as soon as I have that thing on my car, I don't like it. I, I agree with Max, it, uh, it, it takes away some of the, the passion. And if you give me a chainsaw, I will, will take it off. The fans disapproved. That doesn't surprise me, because shy of the cars looking pretty and entertainment, they don't have a dog in this fight. But the drivers... Into the first chicane once again, it's wheel to wheel. Hamilton and Verstappen, oh. and this time Verstappen, and Hamilton have crashed out. Halo system they've introduced a few years ago really saved Lewis Hamilton. That could have been a very, very serious, potentially life-threatening injury. I mean, even Brundle was against it. His stance, old school. Oh, racing's dangerous anyway, and drivers are aware of the risk, and the halo is ugly. <laughs> the halo, they said, would create as many problems as it solved. What? It's aesthetically, of course, it's awful. That's not what upsets me. Uh, it's more that it, what it stands for. 
I don't want the safest place to be at a Grand Prix is inside the racing. For me, safety begins first and foremost with the fans. They're paying to be entertained. Oh, Martin. Aesthetically, it looked like a flip-flop and this was a reason to not bring it in. Talk about living dangerously. These chaps were literally campaigning against something that saves their lives. If there's a worse take in F1 history, then I know not of it. Thank God cooler heads prevailed. We all know that aesthetically it's not the most pleasing thing, but um, we've done so much work on this and we were completely convinced that it was the right thing to do. And F1 fans apparently quite partial to a cheeky bad take or two. I mean, seriously, you couldn't be more wrong if you tried. And remember when Red Bull were an energy drinks company. Mercedes not happy. Red Bull will be delighted. Oh, not aged very well at all, that. And even the great Enzo Ferrari isn't immune from a cheeky bad take. And how about this one from our mates at FIA? The 2022 Formula One car has been designed specifically to promote better racing. More competition, eh? You'll have to remind me. How did that work out? There were quite a few people on there who were saying, you know, well, it's it's been a very dull season. It's been a very boring season. And the only one worse than that is this. We race, we race, we race, we race, we race, we race as one. Dwarfed by an inferno, drivers attempt to navigate the roads of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Oh, dear. And then you've got this one, courtesy of our old mate Sam Collins, no less. <laughs> I, I, look, I'm not one of Max's biggest fans, to be honest. I, I'm one of these people. Yeah, no, I think he's massively overrated. He gets in the car and it is like a PlayStation game for him. So he's throwing the car about the place. There's no, this doesn't really understand what he's doing. I mean, how wrong can you be? Oh, brilliantly contrarian in theory, Sam but fundamentally flawed in practice. He turns up to each corner, whacks on the brakes, and it's crash or make, make the move. So it's a, bit, it's a bit of talent, a bit of luck, but... Oh, but Sam wasn't to know, was he? This was back in 2016, when Max was more crash bandicoot than he was champion of the world. Sam didn't know that Verstappen's final form would be over 9,000. Nobody did. Well, champion. Well, <laughs> what can I say? But here's the problem. Sam's saying this after Brazil 16. Have you seen Brazil 16? Champions drives don't get more champion-y than this. I mean, for a driver in only his second season in F1, on a flooded track, overtaking Messrs Rosberg and Vettel, and mugs these fellas are not. I mean, they've got five championships between them, for Pete's sake. And I mean, just look at what he did to Felipe Nasser. He's got two wheels on the grass there, in the wet. You just don't do that. Not if you value your life. And all this wizardry, by the way, when he was too young to even have a driver's license. Mr. Collins, respectfully, you've had a mare there, mate. And one can't help but think that with the onset of time, this take, along with the others aforementioned, not gonna age well, are they? But then truth be told, nobody, but nobody ever beats the game.